definitely had a long-standing relationship with this with the soil. When I was a, a kid, my 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 cookum, who's my grandma, or my mom, they would be driving the little tractor John Deere rototiller, and my sister and I used to do somersaults because the soil would be so soft and and wet and cold. <laughs> I think people have an image, a stereotypical image of what a scientist is, and I'm hoping that as more people, uh, more women get into science, um, more uh, people of color get into science, more you know diversity in science that that stereotype of sort of the you know skinny nerdy geek, um, hopefully that stereotype goes away. So I did grow up in Saskatchewan, uh, about an hour north of Saskatoon on Muskeg Lake Cree Nation. My dad farmed for 30 years there and growing up in a landscape that was, you know, surrounded by, uh, by farming and by lakes and by forest. I think that really provided, you know, a strong connection for me at least in, in really wanting to understand it and protect it in, in some ways. In my spare time, I suppose I spend as much time as I can um, outside and with with friends and family. Uh, even in even in the winter, I I, I bike. I uh, really enjoy uh, road cycling, and so there's some really good uh, roads once you get out of Saskatoon and you can see beautiful landscapes. I think having a diverse personality types is actually very um, important. So some of the work that I've been doing has been working with uh, First Nations communities in Saskatchewan through a program called Kanawe Tetana Ski, which means let us take care of the land in Plains Cree. Um, and as part of that work, I've also started to do some more research related to uh, land management, land use on First Nations within Saskatchewan. I think a world without science would be um, very confusing and very uninspiring. 